Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. So today's video is going to be a brief one. I'm going to explain this device I made here and what it does and what I'm going to use it for. Uh, so yeah, it should be pretty cool. So this is a hydrogen generator that is built to contain a lot of pressure for experimental purposes. So let me explain myself here. So I'm doing research for a future project. The best term for it would be a combustion light gas gun uh, and it's going to be hydrogen powered. So I've been doing a little bit of research on pressurizing hydrogen and what I found was there were pretty much everybody said it was dangerous and don't do it, which it is very dangerous and there is very limited um, applications that you would want to indeed pressurize a stoichiometric mix of hydrogen and oxygen. So, but in this case, I, it's really necessary to get that, that density, fuel density that I need. Uh, so I need to pressurize it to some degree. Now I saw some people in forums and a few websites say that beyond, like once you get to 30 PSI, the hydrogen and oxygen gas mix will auto ignite which I find really hard to believe because I've been taught since grade school that you need three parts to make fire, right? And you would only have the fuel and the oxygen here um, to make fire, you don't have the heat. Uh, and people are saying at 30 PSI, you don't even need heat, it just goes off by itself. Uh, some people say 40 PSI, some people say 100 PSI, it's all over the place. So I have a 400 PSI gauge on here. I'm going to set this up, I'm going to apply electricity between the electrodes uh, through the water so it rips the molecules apart into hydrogen and oxygen gas and uh, the, pre the pressure will raise until it gets to 400 psi in which case I will unplug it from a remote like a safe location and uh, yeah so I'm gonna be hiding behind a bunch of steel while this whole process is underway that way if it decides to go off and it has enough energy to rupture the pipe I don't get steel shrapnel in myself, so yeah, anyway. We're approaching 200 PSI. This is where the pucker factor starts to go up. All right, that's the 400 PSI mark. We'll go a little bit longer and then I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, calling it. 400 PSI, nothing happened. So that's good. Okay, that was much more violent than I thought it was. Now I have caustic sodium hydroxide everywhere. All right, so that went according to plan. There were no leaks, there were no injuries, which is always a plus. Uh, I met and exceeded 400 PSI, so there were no like ex explosions, auto ignitions, nothing of that sort. Hydrogen is very easy to ignite, you need a very little amounts of energy to ignite it. So a static spark, anything like that could potentially set it off because it's it needs it doesn't need much to go. So um, I think that could be the cause of these claims that it, it will auto ignite at a certain pressure like 30 PSI or 100 PSI. And again, I built this device here for the purposes of pressurizing hydrogen to kind of test and see what happens um, so I can someday integrate this into my combustion light gas gun project. So I don't know when I'm gonna get to that. It's still in the early stages of design, but eventually I want to make a combustion light gas gun which would be really, really cool. So anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. You know the drill, like, comment, subscribe. Also, I have an Instagram now. I plan on posting project updates, projects that didn't make it into a video, either they weren't good enough or they didn't work or it was too boring for a whole video. So I'll post shorter stuff over there. And uh, yeah, 
Uh, it's at Happy Mad Scientist. So go follow me over there. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great day. Bye.